This is Elgin Bennett, uh, class of 22 outfielder, currently committed to Illinois. I attend Wilbur Academy, and this is uh, What's in My Baseball Bag. So starting off, we're going to go to the main compartment. I actually got this bag from uh, the East Coast Pro Showcase, sponsored by Adidas Baseball, so that was a cool experience. Starting off, these are my cleats. These are the, the cleats we uh, got from East Coast Pro. They're limited edition, uh, Fernando Tatis cleats. They're real cool, comfortable. I wear a size 12. They run a little small. But yeah, I like those, my favorite pair of cleats. Next is uh, my helmet. This is a standard Evo Shield helmet. These um, East Cobb, got a nice little seat flap. I got it from uh, Summer Baseball last year. Next is my Evo Shield stuff. This is a double elbow strap, or I think triple actually. It's um, East Cobb customized, and we actually got it at the Jupiter Tournament, the World Series Classic down in um, Fort Myers this year. It was a real like custom thing to Evo Shield teams, and yeah, it's a triple strap. You can actually take this off, make it a double strap, so that's real cool. Next is my uh, leg guard. Same kind of thing, East Cobb customized, standard pro strap, leg guard is real comfy. You know, Wilson Premier, you know, it's just real comfy. I like to stay protected in the box. Next is, I'll probably get into my gloves. Just got a bunch of pair of gloves. The main gloves I do wear are Franklin's, probably these red Franklin's. You know, I go to Woodward, you know, our main colors are red. They're real comfy and like the more I wear them, like customize this to my hands. So it feels like real grippy and you know, I like to keep my hands protected. My next pair of gloves are Evo Shield gloves. I actually got these from uh, Gary from East Cop, so shout out Gary. Uh, you know, these are real cool. They're actually kind of thinner than the uh, Franklin's. So I prefer Franklin's more, but when my Franklin's rip, I just go to the, the Evo Shields. Next that I always keep in my bag is I always keep like a extra long sleeve thermal t-shirt. It's actually flipped inside out, but uh, it says DRB Elite in the inside. It's one of my old baseball teams. You know, I always gotta stay protected because you never know the weather down here in Georgia. Next is uh, what I like to call my Pusheisty mask. It's like a mask that covers your whole face. And you know, with COVID and everything, I always, got, I always wanna keep a mask on me. And this one is like for the cold, so like sometimes, you know, you'll be playing fall ball to get cold outside. You want a full face covering instead of just like one that just covers your face. Actually, going back to Evo Shield is a hand guard. I also got this at um, Wilson Premier down at uh, Jupiter for the tournament. This is actually pretty new and it's just like, this is like a new trend starting with uh, people in the MLB protecting their hands while hitting. You know, it's like, it's pretty cool. You know, you just put it on like this, strap it around, and it uh, protects your hands as you hit. This is also East, this is also East Cobb customized with the EC, so that's cool. This is another mask. You know, being committed to Illinois, I had to cop some merch. This is an Illinois mask, you know, real comfy. And got off the internet. I say next is the baseballs I have in my bag. I always keep two to three baseballs in here. These are uh, all Major League Baseballs, you know, Major League Baseball. And this one is actually an All-Star Baseball from the All-Star game, so that's pretty cool to have. It has the custom laces, orange and blue. It's just real cool to have and throw it. So like, because if you want to play like a major, I always say like you need to warm up like one. So just warming up with a Major League Baseball is a cool thing to have. Next, I'd say are my, uh, my two gloves that I use in the outfield. For me being a primarily outfit, I know it's weird to have two gloves, but one's like a 12 and a half, and it's more like a custom fit. And you know, it's, it's a custom 44 Pro glove, and it's just smaller. And depending on the situation, like my mood, like how I want to dress myself, like depending on what team I'm playing for, um, I'll switch the colors up. And 
moving on to my teal green glove. I just got this last year. It's pretty cool. It's another custom 44 Pro glove. Um, it's teal green. This is actually a 13, so it's a little. It's actually a 12 and 12.75, so it's a little bigger than the 12 and a half. So like you know, you can have more reach with this. Only thing about this is like I feel like the pocket is a little bigger than this one, so it'd be harder to get the ball out the pocket. You know, like it's it, it looks pretty big too. And um, the things on my gloves are super customizable. They're called glove locks. My boy Drew put me on with these. Um, instead of tying these, you can just put glove locks on. And, you know, just have your gloves stay strapped up and, like, have your thumbs and pinkies tight. Next thing in here is the glove oil glove butter that I use to protect my gloves. Because, you know, gloves, you know, they cost a lot. Real important. And uh, you just got to protect your gloves. This is just like a thin little glove butter you can, you can use to protect your glove. And it's really helped my gloves become more durable. And it also helped, my, helped me break my gloves in. Next is my custom 44 Pro sliding mitt. Uh, with speed being like a main factor in my game, I always want to look good on the base path. And you know, like it's just a standard sliding mitt. It's customized, go in your right hand. It was about, you know, it didn't cost that much. You know, it looks real cool and flicks. So y'all yeah, like this. And it's real durable. It lasts you a long time. And uh, I think it actually comes with a warranty. These are more Evo Shield batting gloves. Similar to those, but these are uh, a different fabric. Same sort of deal with the Evo Shields. They rip easily. You see like these are starting to rip. Same sort of thing. I just got a lot of BGs in here. Uh, these are actually MLB gloves from the Athletics. I got it from uh, one of my trainers. You know, you know, colors are green, so this is what they wear in the MLB or the minor leagues. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, I got these from my trainer. These are real cool. Next, I'd say we're getting into sleeves. So these are the main three sleeves I wear. Started with this one. This is a USA sleeve that I got from uh, NTIS when I was 12. I went down there in a tournament. I did pretty good. So they invited me to the NTIS squad. It's like a minor squad for USA Baseball. Unfortunately, I didn't make the national team, but I got the cops of USA merch. And uh, this sleeve was one of the main ones I got. It's like a cotton type of sleeve. Next sleeve is a uh, Evo Shield sleeve, just all black standard Evo Shield sleeve. I actually got it in Jupiter with the uh, Evo Shield stuff. And it was like, it was just a, you know, they were just handing them out. This third sleeve is the MLB Combine sleeve by Evo Shield. I got this from my friend, uh, Dad Ector, who attended the, uh, the first MLB Combine ever last year. And, uh, he, you know, he went off to college, so he, he wouldn't be able to wear this sleeve, so he gave it to me. You know, I like this sleeve a lot. Next, I say is like these socks that I always have in my bag. I don't normally carry polo socks because, like, you know, they're white. But I normally do always have an extra pair of socks because, you know, playing on dirt, your feet will get dirty. And you never know, like, what you have going on after the game. And, you know, I just always want to have extra socks. I also always like to have extra, like, spandex or tights. These are my lucky Captain Americas. You know, they're just like, they're not underwear, like, I wear them over my underwear, but like, they're just lucky. Like, I always do good when I have these on, so I just felt like, y'all have to know. This is a band I use to warm up. It's just a standard band. My dad got it from, uh, like, Dick's, I guess. You know, you can use it in different forms, like, you know, it's just a band I warm up with, get my arm loose. Next is uh, J-Bands. I also use J-Bands to warm up. These are baby blue. They're kind of dirty right now, but I use J-Bands to warm, also warm my arms, my back, my traps. You know, you, you never want to uh, have a shoulder injury, so I feel like it's always key to warm up, and J-Bands always help me with that warming up. Another sleeve I have, this is a Supreme sleeve. I got it in Miami, Florida at the MVP All-American game. One of my friends gave it to me. It was a real cool experience. Next are the belts. I uh, uh, have a leather. Well, not completely leather, but the actual belt loop part is leather. I have a leather, navy blue belt. You know, I play with East Cobb. Our colors are orange, navy blue, and white. So this is just a standard belt I wear. 
Um, with me being left-handed, I actually put my belt in backwards, going right to left. So that's pretty cool. This is like my standard brown belt. I got this from East Coast Pro, playing with the Padres. Our colors are brown. Uh, this is actually what this is actually a minor league team belt for the Padres, so that's pretty cool to have. And yeah, I just I've just kept it in my bag. Next is a sleeve I got from East Coast Pro. We got these pink and yellow sleeves. Or everyone got pink for Adidas, and then specific teams got colors, and the Padres got yellow. Um, I actually don't have my yellow sleeve. But this is the pink sleeve we got from East Coast Pro. You know, it looks pretty cool. It's like a mushy fabric, and it's comfortable. So I like this sleeve as well. And um, this is just a small accessory from East Coast Pro. Again, that we got. This is an armband. You know, it's white, and you can flip it in. It goes black. It's another cool accessory to have. And uh, yeah, that's it for my bag. Or actually, I do have uh, on my side pocket. I do have a pair of Los Reyes glasses. Uh, they're real comfy, cool packaging, and then the glasses are just raw. I really like these. Lowest range. They don't cost too much. You know, you look good. You know, look good, feel good, play good, as I always say. So I always like to come to the field looking good, playing good. And these lowest range help me achieve that. Another Illinois mask. When I bought them, it was a three pack, so it was three different designs. It's just a second mask. I think the third one's at home. On the other side, I always keep my phone in here, my wallet, and uh, you gotta keep my Carmax in there as well, you know. It's getting cold outside, your lips are getting dry. And uh, I don't like having dry lips. But uh, the type of bats that I use as a LV Lumber is a baby blue um, model LV27-3330. LV Pro Maple model bat. Um, they actually reached out to me and uh, sent me this bat as a model, and I've just loved it ever since. Uh, very loud contact, um, you know, really bare level ball. I say the sweet spot is not as big as a like other wood brand bats, but it, it's loud once you hit it. I say the sweet spot's like about here, you know, real custom labels, get your name on it, model under there weight and all that and yeah i just actually love the uh, lv lumber brand so shout out to them as well Another LV bat that I got is a, a LV bat from a Black Cobra Sports um, collab. And uh, Black Cobra Sports sponsored with LV bats. And uh, we got these customs. We got these custom no bombs, no flicks bat. Um, sponsored by Black Cobra Sports. He funded the whole thing. It was a cool experience. And uh, this is the exact same model as the blue one. It's a LV 271 3330. And uh, yeah, it's just another custom LV bat that I use. I like the no bombs, no flicks mention. You know, it's a pro platinum maple. Same as the other one. Uh, yeah, just a real custom bat. That's why I like LV a lot. Another bat I use is this Louisville Slugger. It's a C271, it's a powerized. You know, it's just a maple bat, standard Louisville Slugger. This is actually a 33 and a half, which um, I, I tend to use sometimes for more like more power potential instead of like contact, you know, it's heavier. So, you know, you get that bat head out more, you know, hit balls a little further than the 3330. And uh, yeah, it's just a standard Louisville Slugger, 3330. Okay, okay, okay. Mind that bomb? 
Oh my god! Yeah, that's it. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. And this is uh, what's in my baseball bag.